Hello, welcome back to my sewing room. Uh, this is my second vlog of the progress that I'm making with my Chanel style jacket with the uh, assistance of Mandy. Uh, since last week, Mandy's now got two arms, so I'll just bring her in for a little show and tell. Uh, here we are, Mandy. We're probably only gonna be able to see one arm, but I can assure you the other one is there. The arms were the first kind of tricky, tricky bit that I've hit. Uh, because the pattern that I cut this from, the, the shoulders were just a little bit too uh, generous. So I think they were 18, I'm 17, Mandy's about 15. So that's why it's still looking a bit saggy on her. On me it was still a bit too saggy, so I went back in, picked out the stitches to discover that this fabric really falls apart at the first sign of trouble. So I was literally taking out a strand at a time snip snip measure measure stick it all back in based it took a while got there in the end and it's it's all as it should be so really happy with that but it has taught me a lesson about this material is that i need to proceed with caution next is the lining has started the lining for the inside so these these front panels have been lined so the shoulders have been been put into place and the back so there's a, a fabric there's a yoke at the back that so the sleeves of the next piece of line needs to be completed so I mean there's there's quite a bit going on under here it's made this quite sturdy in actual fact so there's a piece of lining there's another facing of the actual fabric itself and it's interfaced so that's but when you're wearing it you're not aware that there is, is quite as much going on under there so you know it's that theory about Chanel clothes they move with you you're not you're not constricted by them the, the collar so far I've only basted that in just to make sure it's set where I want it to be it looks a bit lumpy bumpy but once when, when I'm I'm happy with it and I've put in the final range of stitches I'll trim this out so it all sits and lies down nicely and uh, there's no kind of um, undulations <laughs> if, if I can use that word the braiding turned up thank you Mandy I'm finished with you now the other braiding that I ordered has turned up and I don't think I like it hmm? I just don't know that it's got as, as much pizzazz as this one and I think the, there's like ice here there's like a, a pewter grey and an icier silvery white in this which is just gives it a bit more lift against that tweedy sort of fabric so um, I think I'll stick with this one and I'll I'm bound to find something else to do with this um, it's just it is really pretty but it's just not not really what I wanted but again the joys of buying online um, and I don't think I ordered enough either so there you go. Lessons learned all around. The other purchase of the week, and it's become, it you know, really was a revelation to me. A tailor's ham. I've seen other online um, sewing people use these. And I, I kind of poo-pooed the idea and went, oh, seriously, isn't that a bit extra? You just you know, work around it. But using this fabric... I'm wanting to get that finish, that proper, smooth, gorgeous finish to the shoulder caps, the shoulder sleeves. This is going to do it for you. And for the, the seams on the bust here, to get that crisp, smooth line that makes all the difference when you're looking at something and it looks properly finished. It looks all put together pristine if that's not too big a word to use this is going to get you there a little bit of steam and just gently press it all into place it's fabulous it's incredible highly recommended 